Hello, Lord of Life. Pastor Adam here. I'm going to be reading to you today from Daniel, the 12th chapter, verses 1 through 3. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall arise. There shall be a time of anguish, such as has never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time, your people shall be delivered, anyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the sky, and those who lead many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. Daniel is apocalyptic literature. The other type of apocalyptic literature or the other book that you're probably most familiar with is Revelation. It is a, a book about the end times or a, a, a world to come. But what's different about Daniel is Daniel is actually being written in the um, during the solution period of Jerusalem that is around 160 BCE. But it's set in during the Babylonian captivity, which is actually around closer to like 580 BCE. So the, the author is actually looking back into the past and seeing when um, Israel had suffered under um, oppression and captivity and um, seeing parallels to their current existence and writing about those and saying, God has saved us in the past and God will save us now and God will save us in the future. Um, and so what that means for us today is we can look back to these stories in the Old Testament and see when uh, people were living under oppression or being tested or tried and how that um, God was able to come in and save them from their oppressors, from people who were either benefiting from them financially. In, in the case of Daniel, he the author is specifically writing against the religious elite. See, they were um, welcoming uh, Hellenistic uh, worship into Jerusalem at that time. They had actually even set up uh, uh, competing temples outside and near the temple in Jerusalem, uh, the house of God, and even to the point where they set up a, uh, a statue of Zeus in, in the temple um, and, and worship to Zeus was practiced in God's house. And so the author of Daniel is saying, this isn't right. You're leading people astray. The people that are going to be risen are going to be, who are going to rise up, are going to be um, the people of the true faith, which actually ends up being the Maccabean Revolution, which takes place shortly hereafter um, and is, is called the Hasmonean Dynasty, which uh, ruled up to the Roman occupation um, and which brings us into Jesus's time. So please pray with me. God of salvation, we know that you are powerful and that you uh, work to end oppression in any form that it takes, whether it is because of um, lack of access to health care, lack of access to homes, or lack of access to um, uh, human rights, God, whatever they may be, food, water, or otherwise, um, or based off of race or religion, God, you worked every day to end oppression in all of its form, to end the oppressive forces that have uh, control over this world. So we pray for your coming kingdom um, in which we want to be participants in making this kingdom come to earth. Um, help us to love our neighbor and to welcome in your reign, God, Jesus's kingdom. We pray all these things in your son's mighty name. Amen. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon.